Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Outlast. Oh, it's the CRM. God damn it, Miles. Oh, it's that place what we done seen on the video. Fuck, 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 fuck. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone. I am not crazy. I know, I know, only crazy people say that. But I am as sane as this world allows, with a camera full of evidence. Don't call it a gospel. Call it a mockery of reason. Let the world know it is Murkoff's fault. Bury these bastards with my mutilated dead body. That's very negative, Miles. Don't assume you're going to die. Frankenstein, or The Modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, chapter 23, excerpt. Man, I cried, how ignorant art thou in thy pride of wisdom. Cease! You know not what it is you say. I broke from the house angry and disturbed and retired to meditate on some other mode of action. Huh. All right then. A block. All right. Stop doing that. Delightful stuff. Any bat batteries, files? Oh god, that sounds gloopy. Right, you. You got anything? Remember to wash your intestines in the sink, separate from everything else. It's just good hygiene. Daylight. No, we are so close to freedom. Morphogenic engine. This is the morphogenic engine. A few lines of mathematics and an algorithm. Reprogram us, turn us into nightmare factories. A few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw and a few hours alone with Dr. Vernicke's corpse. I feel I owe him a debt. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, it was good I went in there. Can't go that way. Whoa! That's not good. We're just gonna run. Oh, hi! Yes, whatever. No more. Correct, just not for me. Oh, you reap what you sow, Mr. Walker. Goodbye. 
Well, we don't have to worry about him anymore. This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you don't find another. Yeah. So what happened to, to the twins after all this? Do they just... Okay. Where do I go now? Does he? He may think I'm his father. He certainly loves me, the poor idiot. Do you know what this symbol represents? No. It warns of a nano hazard. Microscopic machines. Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. Kirchhoff discovered in my research a workaround. Turn into cells in a human body. Nano factories. It's the natural function of cells to produce molecules, but through psychosomatic direction, we engineer the precise molecules necessary. Mind over body. It was foolish and wrong to think we could control it. To use madmen to make something so strong. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support, his anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. No one can get out of this place while he lives. You must kill him. All right then. Well, you st stay safe in your hidey hole. I don't know if that was going to be important information or not. <laughs> Alright, let's climb over the barrels. Can I go through this way yet? No. So where am I going? Must be something I'm overlooking. Probably something really obvious too. Ah, yes, here we go. Do you have anything on you? No. What about you? No. 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 Not helpful at all, people. Right in here. No, no batteries, no files, no nothing. <coughs> I 
<coughs> Excuse me. Nothing in there. Whoa! Oh god! I I messed up. Just run. Oh god, no. Get away from me. Oh god, no. Fuck. Damn it. I'm... Stop shutting the doors on yourself. What are you doing, man? Right, let's we'll shut one. Right, there he is. Bastard. Come run, 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 run. Oh. Well, I got through that somehow. Do you have anything on you? No. Oh, you have a file. I will take that. Note to all personnel from consultant MM008 Rudolf, v Rudolf Venike. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. Huh. Right. Can't go that way. Whoa. The assembler, the fee chambers, the precursor molecules, vague memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online, probably drunk, probably distracted, not nearly enough to know how to destroy it. But Billy is the centre of it. Find him, kill him, end this. God, it looks like the thing out of uh, uh, Event Horizon. The, uh, the ship's core that made it travel to hell. Turn off the valve for the life support. Alright then. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. The enriched oxygenated, yes, from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anaesthetics and interruption. Any, any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Electric, su electric supply is supplemented and ensured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. In the case of catastrophic loss of vital systems 1 and 2, the life pod failsafe will engage, maintaining localised minimum life support functions 
until technicians can arrive. Disabling failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. Right. So which one's Billy in? Hi Billy. From Billy's patient record reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Yeah, I can't imagine that that is any fun. Alright, where do I go first? Life support fluid reservoir. I'm going to keep these doors open so I can run through them quickly. This is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support, a machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all, break it all, he has to die. Yeah. Can I, can I go in here? Frankenstein, except for, except from chapter four. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example. How dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Uh huh. All right. Let's end this madness, shall we? Hi Billy! <gasps> hey Fruit Loop! Stop doing that camera! Of course there'd be a squeezy hole bit. Go on, just run, just run. Jesus. So it's like the Final Fantasy Seven stairs. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, what's this? Another file. Please find attached the permission to proceed form from patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatric Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado, USA. The form is standard and all relevant li lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding, unfounded, of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable, contribu charitable contribution to her church. Bernard Kate, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. And I wonder if Billy wants to kill you all. Not only have you been torturing him, you lied about uh, helping his mother. Alright.
Now we can escape and have our happy, happily ever after. broken bones potential internal bleeding how am I running like this swiftly right let's finish this the final act of mercy yeah let's get this recorded Protect the camera. <laughs> many, many ouches. Much pain, very sore. But thank God the camera survived. Billy is dead, the war rider, the swarm, whatever it is, unmade with him. Whether I escape or die, here I am free. You think so? Come on, Miles. Oh, attempting to run is clearly not the thing to do. Come on, Miles, suck it up. Let's hobble our way back to the asylum, then through the countless corridors, back to the car. That's not good. Well, that went well. <laughs> Punished. Well, I love this game. It's been so long since I've played it. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That brings our time at Mount Massive Asylum to a close. Or does it? We will return to complete the DLC Whistleblower. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigmalator, this has been Outlast, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.